Today we'll be cooking the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun loving every vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. We're going to make dog soup. Today I actually have a guest here, and it's actually her house. Her name is Ni, nee, and we're making dumplings. Keto dumpling to be exact. So, do you have anything you want to say? At least say hi, maybe? Hi. Perfect. <laughs> On that note, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates. Me will be the one who's making it and today I will be tasting the dumpling. Because we have never tried this before, we're just going to do this challenge as Keto Dumpling Challenge. Let's do this. Choo choo! Alright, well I have my coffee and she has her everything she needed for this. <laughs> I'm setting up ourselves to a failure, okay? But you know, we need to tell you about the ingredients. So we have almond flour, we have this... <laughs> it is what it is, okay? If you can see the title, I'm going to zoom in here. Psyllium husk powder, and we have pork, and egg, and kimchi, liquid amino, which is a replacement of soybean sauce. Okay. Avocado oil. This is salt, by yeah. the way. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not the one who's making it, so I'll have me take over while I'm drinking my coffee. So what are we going to start? Like... Oh, we're going to unpackage. We're gonna do a science oh, experiment. We, oh, we're going to do a science experiment. Okay, all right. Do you know how many dumplings we're gonna be able to make? Mm. Five. Let's more just than go five. with five. More oh, than, okay. More than five. Ten. So how much are we... Okay, we're going to have 250 grams of pork to make our fillings. I think we have to make it really dry because I've never used the powder and... Almond oh, okay. The husk before. powder. Yeah, because uh, Ni normally make it with a real flour. So today it will be very challenging. Like normally... This we, is so exciting. Yeah. Normally we do like the fillings raw and then cook them together with the... the oh, okay, the flour. flour. Okay. Yeah, but like this time, I guess we'll just make it really dry and mm -hmm. cook it first. It's okay, I'm the tester today, so... I'm not gonna poison him. <laughs> We're just chopping it in a way, just grinding it, right? Because I think we have to uh, fry it first, so I didn't make it too thin. Okay, we're going to pan fry it first. Is that like an additional step? For keto dumplings, or yeah, that's oh, okay. Yeah, that's I think I've never never done that before. Yeah, we never done this before, so don't try it at home. <laughs> try it at the other friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have someone else try it. So the next part, we're going to weigh in the kimchi. I guess at this point, if you don't know about it, we're making keto kimchi pork dumpling. <laughs> I'm going to keep it like adding the title as we go. Kimchi is usually keto, but you also have to look at the nutrition facts. So we're putting 150 50 grams of kimchi. I think we have to. We're going to drain chop. It a little oh, we have to dry, drain it. Yeah. Drain it first to make it as dry as possible. Why? To make it dry, the filling should be really dry. Well, otherwise, I don't know if it'll like have. Water out. Like oh, okay. Okay. Make the okay. Well, we'll see. It's called dicing, right? Yeah. That's the technique. Yeah. Right. Okay. See? I'm not the he one who's cooking. Cook. <laughs> I usually just put in the food processor and then be like, done. Anyway. So we're gonna seasoning the mains. Okay, so we're going to seasoning the minced pork. Yeah. We need... What do we need? That's a good question. We um, need soy sauce. And salt, I guess. And salt, and we guessed. <laughs> so we'll see about that. Do you need some coffee in there too? Maybe it'll be helpful. I don't know. So... I'm the one who will be testing later, so... Yeah, we're, we're free-spirited, okay? Is and that really salty? Because I have not tried it It is before. quite salty. It's so. definitely more salty than the soy sauce. A little more? Oh, that's Still? fine. That's fine. Like, never put okay. soy sauce in a dumpling before. Really? Oh, My sorry. mom used to put soy sauce in dumplings. So... We don't. 
We you don't. Put, yeah, we just put like all other seasonings. I don't care. Ginger powder, you eat ginger powder? Yeah, I eat anything. Okay, we'll just have a little bit inside. I love ginger. I always put a lot of ginger powders in my food. As you can see, we are really exper experimenting this. It's fun. It is fun. It's Ni good. is thinking about having her own food channel. I'm convincing her to do keto food channel. So I can always be the mukbang taster and she'll be the one who's cooking. I think Tom just want a personal cook. Okay, I think we're good with this. Yeah. So I'm gonna pan You're fry it. You're not going to put the egg in there first? No, the egg should be go with the flour to make the flour go together. Oh. Yeah, so that's like a glue for oh, whatever this is. It's like a yeah. adhesive. But this, I'm gonna pan fry this and add the kimchi inside. Oh, okay. So yeah. we're going to change the camera angle. See you. Choo -choo. And we are back after that minced pork that we did over the frying pan. We are now going to make our dough. No, she is going to make the dough. We are going to have 100 milliliter of boiled hot water. Yeah. And also we're going to use the salem husk powder and the egg and maybe a little bit of salt. Um, oh, we're also going to use almond flour. Yeah. The yeah. main ingredient of the dough. We're going to put 70 grams of almond flour. Oh, it has to be accurate. It's an experiment. It's still an experiment. <laughs> so we'll see about that. Did a little bit research before I want to do this dumpling. It will be really? very fun. It's like dirt. It's not like dirt. It smells like dirt at least. I cannot smell anything because your lotion smells really strong. <laughs> really? It doesn't really have a smell. Okay. It is what it is. How much are we putting in there? 25 grams. Okay, we're going to put 25 grams. So, 70 grams of almond flour and 25 grams of psyllium psyllium husk powder. powder. Dun dun dun! They call for boiled water. So, you know, make sure you boil the water before you are making the, the dough. So, we're putting the egg first before we put the hot boiled water, right? Yeah. So we're going to mix it up first. When are we putting the salt? Oh! <laughs> so we're putting hot water inside and like... it's making it very gooey. Ew. The research said you have to let it cool down first. I can see this experiment will turn into something very interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take it out. I'll let it set down for a little bit. Okay. Okay. So this is our little dough over here. So okay. We'll just let it. All right. Down. We're going to be right back after this dough is formed into somehow a real dough. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now that we're back, this is our dough for the dumpling. We're about to make it into what? Like, like a little a, crust. Yeah, a little crust. Is that how we say it? Pie crust? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, pie crust? I don't know. Dumpling crust? I don't know. Leave in the comments and then we'll let, <laughs> let us know how do we call those a uh, wrap. <laughs> wrap. Yes, it's called wrapper. It's not sticky, right? Yeah, I don't I don't think I even need this. The almond flour to yeah. kind of make it unsticky. So Ni yeah. will demonstrate how to make into a dumpling. dumpling. I was I will try. It's really weird. It's like a Play-Doh, according to our chef. Touch it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I cannot use, like, probably I can... Oh, I think I, you're fine. I think I can. I think you're fine. Oh, it gets Oh, it probably up. not. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, this is exciting. Oh, yeah, we can put, like, a baking sheet over or something. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yay! Ooh, we got ourselves a, a dumpling wrap. Okay, so now we have a crust. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we have a wrap. And it's not round at all. At all. It's yeah, like it's not round at all. Weird so shape. 
that we would try to make it. It is what it is. Let's see if we can make it into a dumpling. Yeah, if we can make it into a dumpling, it can definitely become like a, a wrap. I will try it. Back. Ooh! <laughs> okay. So, like, I don't think I can make it like the normal dumpling shape, but I will just put them together and... This looks really ugly. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Ew! We can make it into a wonton. At least I need to make one dumpling that looks perfect. Yeah, we're going to make one successful. I'm starting to... <laughs> to not wanting to try to be the, the tester for this. Maybe yeah. make it a little bit more, more thicker. thicker. We're getting better. I am getting better. Okay, from the look of it though, it's not as kimchi. appealing, but whatever. Let's see if we can make it. No! Ew. Am I doing something wrong? No, I don't think so. I feel like it's... Yeah, it's not forming together. It's Do you think really... the water will help? So the third time, we're putting a little bit more dough, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're making it... A more thicker and see if we, we can close it. It smells really good though. Mm, I will just put a little bit of water on the side this time. See. Oh yes. Actually it helps. It does? Yeah, it, that does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna make it beautiful, I'm just make it into yeah, the shape. Just make sure it works. Yeah, the best I'm playing. Oh, look at this. Very challenging. So, this is our first try. So, I'm getting better. So, this one is on you. You should make it. I don't know how to make a dumpling. Like... Yeah, okay, let me do it. Yeah. So, I already gave you a patty. Okay, like, let's do flower this. Flower patty. So, put a little bit... Like, put this first. Yeah, put okay. the filling first. So, Tom is doing this. I'm gonna mark this one, you have to eat this okay. one. Okay, I'm being stingy right now, so you're not going to have a lot of filling from me. So you can put a little bit of water like on the, the side, side, right? Yeah. Okay, no. good enough. Yeah. Okay, Um, I guess you go in the center first, right? Yeah. Just I'm just closing it, whatever. Yeah, I'm just closing it, it's okay. It is why. I'm not making any like beautiful fold or whatever, or, right? Yeah. <gasps> Wow! Oh wow! Actually, it's really good. Look at it. It's better than mine, I think. Ooh, dumpling. Mm, Tom. But the dough is very thick, though. I feel like I would just be eating like a dough. pie crust. Okay, you know we are not going to bore you with it. So we actually shut off the camera and then to make into what we're doing right now. And I made myself a little pie for this. We're going to taste this. So we're going to cook it, right? We're just going to pan fry it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we're pan frying the dumplings. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Have you seen this? This is our aftermath of... Huh? Yeah, well, if you think this is a Zen garden, <laughs> it's not. Okay, I'm going to try my... First, okay? Okay, I'm gonna see. Uh, I don't know which one is mine because they all uh, look the same. Um, this no, one I, might be, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to try my first ever keto dumpling. We pan fried it. <laughs> I'm. Uh, the smell of just, it. Just put it in your mouth. <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna go for a uh, small one. <laughs> Wordless. Mmm, good. Um, actually, the the flower tastes like an egg roll. Mmm. And okay. with the um the mince inside. It definitely tastes like a wrap. It's not that salty though. No, I didn't. Put it and then the aftertaste is really dry. I don't know why I'm eating actually. <laughs> like the dough and the filling is two separate things. Yeah. When you're putting in your mouth, you feel like <laughs> I don't know why I'm eating. I'm going to eat my little pie. Maybe this pie might taste better. 
Even though it doesn't look better. <laughs> You're eating a rock. Mmm, it's very gooey though. Mmm, true. Yeah, it doesn't taste like flour. It tastes like a bread, right? It has a bread type of texture. Um. Mmm. Mm. It's a little bit dry. It's very dry. <laughs> it's not as flavorful. Um, I think if we put a little bit more salt and maybe if we put like sriracha sauce and then to dip it, it might be. Yeah, I I think we should like making a dipping sauce. Yeah, you definitely need something to dip with because. Yeah. And drink lots of water. The look is not really good. The taste is alright. At least we made it into a dumpling somehow. So I give this ten out of ten for the effort. Yay! <laughs> but how about the taste? One out of ten <laughs> for the taste. So all the other videos are true. You are really me. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. If you ever wanted to try to have something keto, but you are craving for that dumpling, yeah, this is not it. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't try it at home. But hey, we tried it. Okay, this is our first time, and you know. We tried our best to make it into dumplings. So thank you, Ni, for helping me to make this possible. Thank you for eating it. <laughs> I feel like yeah, eating it is a challenge itself. <laughs> But on that note, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my next challenge update. If you want to know more challenge or want to suggest more challenge, please leave in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, Nee. Bye. Bye.